So what, what's, what's your passion? Well, my passion, I, I think, is, um, you know, it's the journey. It's, it's, it's you know, um, I, Maylee and I have had so many chapters in our lives, and I always look forward to, you know, the next, what the next chapter is going to be. And, uh, you know, we've lived in California, we've lived in Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, we, we're living in Maine, and, you know, and Maylee and I are, you know, we're always thinking about what the next chapter is going to be, and, you know, and enjoying the ride as it is, you know, changing professions and, and, uh, and experiencing new things, I, you know, to me, that's what it's all about, you know. I think that's really the essence of being human, is in, in, in appreciating it and recognizing as you're on this journey, that that's what it. That, that's what it's all about. And I think that if you build your tribe, you can do anything you want. I think that yeah. my new tagline is uh, "My vibe attracts my tribe." <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> because I think you can make these changes and choices strengthen numbers. So, and I think that we're meant to do this together as a community, not alone. Yeah. So. But you guys didn't grow up knowing us. You know, so no, I learned along the way. Yeah, so how, were there any teachers or any moments in your journey where you're like, it, it changed you to kind of take this path? And, well, you know, um, yes, there's been, for me, there, there, um, there's been several um, spots in my life. When I, when I lived in Japan um, uh, for a year, you know, I studied uh, the Buddhism and I studied the Shinto. Um, and I, at that point, I learned that, you know, um, there was a different um, approach to spirituality, I think, than just Jesus Christ, and which, you know, um, I, I think there's value in understanding all different types of religions and all different types of spirituality. So I think living in Japan gave me a, a, a really a good basis to understand that, wow, this Buddhism thing that's been around for 3,000 years makes sense, you know what I mean? Um, so so I started, I think at that point is when I started looking inside to myself, and and, um, and, and I think that was the first change, but you know, probably the biggest change for me was meeting her. Um, I, I sort of feel as though she's a, um, She's a conduit for me to, you know, really be brave and, and be out there and um, and take risks on things that I probably wouldn't have otherwise, just because I'm confident that I have my my wingman here. Yeah. And, and Maylee, that's one of the things I picked up about you is that you are willing to be out there. So I feel like I have nothing to lose. Right, but where did that come from? I think growing up. The first time that I overcame any adversities, I felt the strength and the power of knowing that your belief system is just a belief, it's an illusion, so if you can face your fears or face something challenging and you overcome it, it gives you the strength to keep doing that, and then you just, it's sort of something you want to keep challenging yourself even further, to say, how much further can I go with sort of some, some wonderful opportunities? So, I just gain the confidence through experience. So, one of the things that a lot of our interviews are with individuals. You're our first couple interviews. Oh. So, my question is, how do you challenge each other to kind of stay in that envelope of being challenged? I mean, do you guys talk about it? Is it, is it all we're just We're pretty actions? open about it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're very different people, um, and I'm sure you can tell that. You know? Hallelujah. Um, and, um, and I think our differences is what makes us strong. Um, you know, we'll have simple conversations when we go into a room or a social event where there's a party, you know, we're not necessarily sitting on each other's laps because she's she's do, doing her thing and I'm doing my thing. And then, we, you know, at certain times of the night, we'll check in with each other and say, you got to come meet this wonderful right. person I met. And I'll say, you got to meet this person. Divide and conquer. Yeah, so yeah. And, and so um, I think that, uh, you know, we challenge each other because we're because of our differences. So I, I believe that um, you know I I will give May Lee insight into a different perspective to look at things like she does for me by leading by example almost I mean it's it's almost you know um, I, I, I sort of you know I'll, I'm willing to concede when she's right because she's right a lot 
She's willing not to concede when I'm right, ever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Um, you know, but just watching that, you know, and, and when we introduce things, you know, I think being open to these, you know, if it's <laughs> if it's the hip hop ad videos that you want me to do with you, or or if it's something. No, you're pretty game. <laughs> and, and so I think it's you know, a willingness to you know try new things, yeah. and, and that's sort of my nature. So it works out really, really well for us. Awesome. Yeah. No, I think the support system. Again, I go back to the tribe. Yeah. You really can get through anything if you've got your support system. I told I told my daughter this on Friday. I was telling my daughter. I said. Do you have any idea, like, how sometimes when you look at life, how um, you, the choices that you make, the doors that, you, you know, typically there's doors in front of you, and you got to choose which one to open. You don't know what's going to happen. If you go through another door, something different could happen. I said, the day I met your mother was the day I said, I met her, five minutes later I said, I met the woman I'm going to marry. I don't know what, what, what came over me at that point. But, so I went and I took my whole paycheck and I, and I got a, a bucket of flowers and I was gonna have them sent down to the set for her. I wrote this note and um, just before they sent it, the guy who was delivering it came in and said, Ken, where are those flowers? And I said, hold on a second. I took the note and I went outside and I'm like, this is ridiculous. I, why would I be doing this? This is so like, not something I should be doing. She's gonna think I'm a weirdo, this kind of thing. And then I looked up at the sky and I said, if I snooze, I lose. I told this to my daughter. I said, give it to her. <laughs> and and Maylee's like, who is this weirdo? But, um, <laughs> um, but you know, it's sometimes, you know, I, I like to be adventurous, and obviously you want to be wise with the choices you make, but, you know, if something scares you a little bit, I think, I think that's good. And so I think some of this is Maylee and I, you know, We'll, we'll go out of our comfort zone and, and do things that we normally wouldn't do because we have each other. And, but I found my soulmate in her, and I mean, I'm blessed that I did at a young age, and I've never felt as though um, my, my life is, it would be incomplete without her, and I, but I also um, feel like I've known her for about six months. I, I, I can't believe that we've been married for 20 years at this point, and it's, it, every day is a new experience. But we reinvent ourselves, and I think that's what part of the keeps it fresh and keeps it fun, you know, that it's like, okay, you know, so. 